Bernie loves all of his animal friends. So to help endangered animals, he made a donation to the San Diego Zoo's Crest Program. Here's a sign. S 
S-T-O-P. That spells stop. Mm, be sure to stop and watch out for cars when you see this sign. We should always stop, look, and listen. Right, Barney? That's right, Julie. Okay, everybody. Now look both ways before crossing. <laughs> Okay then, let's go! <laughs> oh my, here's another sign! What do these two R's mean? R, R stands for railroad. Some zoos have little railroad trains that you can ride in around the zoo. Oh boy, oh boy, I love to ride on a train. Oh, is that a train I hear coming now? <laughs> with C. Is it a camel? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hi, C is for camel. Oh, I've seen camels with one hump and camels with two humps, but there's only one camel with five humps. Sally the camel. Oh, oh, oh. Sally the camel has 
Terry is a horse. Of course. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's look at more animals. Okay. okay. <laughs> e is for elephant. F is for fish. Hey, everybody. Mm -hmm. See if you can guess the next two animals. Oh, okay. This animal's name starts with the letter G. And here's a riddle about him. I'm spotted all over from head to toe. My neck's very long. Who am I? Do you know? Hmm. Spotted all over. A leopard has spots. Is it a leopard? Try again. Giraffe has spots. Oh, they sure do. And a long neck, too. That's right again. Is it a giraffe? That's right. G for giraffe. Oh, good job. And here he is. Oh, yes, it is a giraffe. I read about a bird in this book. It makes it sound like he's laughing. <laughs> laughing? Really? Mm -hmm. What bird is it? Its name starts with the letter K for Kookaburra. <laughs> Kookaburra. That's a funny name. Kookaburra. 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 Sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh, kookaburra, gay your life must be. <laughs> kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Eating all the gum drops he can see. Stop, kookaburra, stop, kookaburra, leave some there for me. Sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh, kookaburra, gay your life must be. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Eating all the gum drops he can see. Stop, kookaburra, stop, kookaburra, leave some there for me. I've never seen a kookaburra. Where do they live? They live far away in a place called Australia. I have an aunt who's been there. She's visiting us this week and said she would come to see our school today. Oh, really? Great. Has your aunt really been to Australia? Uh-huh. She's traveled all over the world. And when she comes home, she always brings something back for me. <laughs> Jason, he was outside playing with friends and helped me find you. Jason, you're welcome. Aunt Molly, these are my other friends. Tina, Derek, Sean, and Barney. Everybody, this is my Aunt Molly. Hi, Hi Aunt Molly. there. Well, I've wanted to meet you for a long time, Molly. Julie has told me all about you and the stories you tell. Thank you, Barney. I just love telling stories. My, what a nice classroom you have. And, ooh, I like this zoo. We made it today. The animals' names begin with different letters of the alphabet. C, M is for monkey. Oh. All these animals remind me of a story I know. 
Would you like to hear it? Oh, please. Yeah, sure. Okay. But I'll need some help telling it. Okay. You can make a hopping rabbit, a fox with a bushy tail, a grouchy wolf, and a buzzing bees. Once there was a boy who had three goats. Every morning, he would take the goats to the pasture to play. And every evening, he would take them to sleep at the barn. But one evening, the goats jumped the fence into the garden and began to eat the vegetables. The boy tried to get them out of the garden. He pulled on them with the rope. He clapped his hands. He called their names. But the goats wouldn't even look up. So the boy sat down and started to cry. And at that very moment, a little rabbit came hopping up. Boy, why are you crying? Well, I'm crying because I can't get my goats out of the garden. Ah, that's easy. I'll do it. So the little rabbit hopped into the garden. Well, he waved his floppy ears and twitched his little cotton tail. But the goats wouldn't even look up. So the rabbit sat down next to the boy. And he started to cry. And at that very moment, a fox came running through the pasture. Ooh. Rabbit, why are you crying? Well, I'm crying because the boy is crying. And the boy is crying because he can't get the goats out of the garden. <laughs> oh, that's easy. I'll do it. So the fox ran into the garden and she flashed her bushy tail, but the goats wouldn't even look up. So the fox sat down and she started to cry. And at that very moment, a wolf came walking down the road. <laughs> someone to scare all day. So the wolf sneaked into the garden and he jumped out of the goat and he made faces at the goats and even huffed and puffed. But the goats wouldn't even look up. So the wolf sat down and he started to cry. And at that very moment She buzzed into the garden, and she buzzed around those goats, and she landed on the nose of the very biggest one. And you know what that bumblebee did? She began to dance a little dance. And the goat began to laugh a little bit. <laughs> Until he saw what was making him laugh. A bee! He jumped into the air. And the goats ran out of the garden. One, two, three. <laughs> the little bumblebee buzzed away. The wolf walked back down the road. The fox ran back through the pasture. The rabbit hopped into the garden. And the boy took the goats back to the barn. Oh, yay! Yeah.
That was great. Thank you for the fun story, Molly. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad you all liked it. Well, I better be going now. I'm helping your dad cook dinner tonight. Oh. Okay, bye. See you. Oh, that's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> May I? Thank you, Barney. Oh, bye, certainly. Molly. Bye. <laughs> Well, goodbye, Molly. Thanks for coming today. I love your story. <laughs> Hope to see you again soon. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, my tummy must be growling. I haven't had my afternoon snack. <laughs> Whoa, that wasn't my tummy growling. Sounds like a... Sounds like a... Tiger! Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. Tiger is an animal who walks around like a great big beautiful cat. He is orange and black with lots of stripes. Now what do you think of that? Oh, he is big. Wow! And he's got teeth.
Friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Did you have as much fun as I did visiting our alphabet zoo? <laughs> you can use all the letters of the alphabet to make your own zoo with your friends. A is for alligator. B is for bear. And C is for camel. <laughs> Our friend Jason showed us how to make letters with our fingers. And he taught me how to sign my absolutely, positively favorite thing to say. I love you. 